uh spider here this is a daily chart i know so usually i look at 65 minute chart for you guys um but today what i wanted to talk about uh in this uh wonderful saturday morning is uh first of all this is obviously it was a steep correction 27 percent right this was also another steep correction 35 percent and that was a covid crash during 2020 this was also another steep correction 20 percent so yes we do get these um steep corrections within the primary term of trend right um you can see 2018 to 2020 2020 to uh 2022 right and then now we are we've just made new all-time highs just recently and that's important that's the key point here we've just recently made new all-time highs just a couple months ago right so that entire year of move was what we call a recovery phase recovery phase so what happened was we actually saw a bigger move as you can see here compared to this move because of this correction that we've seen a lot of people missed out what came later perfect right and that's sort of what happened here when this run this move here when that happened believe it or not this correction was 10 percent, just 10 percent, merely 10 percent. but it felt like 15 or 20 didn't it that was only 10. It felt like 15 or 20 just because it, we went through very much grueling downtrend during 2022. And then even then, we didn't see like a very fast, you know, reversal, which we've been so accustomed to. We've been actually spoiled uh, because this market has been showing that V-shaped reversal every time. So market had to do something different. So you can see there's a there's a correct. So you see it, you see it. So we see a steep correction. We see a reversal, and then we're gonna see the follow up pullbacks before under the next leg higher. And sometimes the follow -up pullbacks can last a couple months, right? But those were opportunities to accumulate again. Something same thing here. COVID decline reversal right and there's that little correction in between and then we make new all-time there's a follow-up pullbacks again those are opportunities before next like higher so during difficult months if you were accumulating here and here even if you didn't find the perfect low here here and here market will give you another chance here here and here 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 and here well market gave us a lot of chances during 2023 here here and here you never want to chase when the market is going up All right so if you, even if you didn't find the low uh some of those levels will give you opportunities to accumulate and if you did that instead of freaking out panic selling here then you had a really nice upturn. Perfect. So market might be giving us another chance. Only thing what we don't know is, is it gonna come down somewhere here, maybe lower, I don't know, somewhere in this way and just go straight up? Or is it gonna be like this? Or is it gonna be like that? Where mm -hmm. it could go up and down a couple of times before getting back up, All right? So if you understand the context of where we're at comparing to previous all-time high instead of focusing on where we were in the october low and how much we made that move because if you're only focusing on that you're gonna come to a conclusion that surely we've been in this bull market since 20 late 2022 so it's already been almost two years yes we're ready for another 30 percent decline that's what that's gonna be the assumption no sir not me 
But if we focus on, okay, we just cleared the all-time high. Historically speaking, when that happens, um, you know, we might see another lag higher move that could potentially come in the coming months after this follow-up corrections that we're going, you know, the pullback that after that's settled, uh, we could assume then that follow-up lag run, another lag run higher possibly coming, right? This is a weekly chart, by the way. So each candle represents one week worth of data. So this is a this is a three weeks worth of data. You can see we have a, a three black crows, so three red candles, three red candles, three red candles. Uh, what typically happens after three black crows? Usually, you do see a relief bounce more often than not. There will you will find some incidents where you might see another follow through but usually the la fourth candle if we do see another follow through to the downside usually the fourth candle becomes like a doji some sort of like a, like a candle like this where it's a, it's like a spinning top with a little you know uh green body or it could be like some sort of like hammer candle so usually that's sort of what happens more again more often than not so that's that's what three black crow is and it is a reversal signal so if you look at you know august here um last year you see three black crows happen for three weeks came down we had a two weeks of bounce another three black crows with a two three weeks of sideways to slight upside another two black there's a two black crows here so it was that initial three black crows was uh, a reversal signal because we never fully seen the full reversal, right? It actually made that lower highs and lower lows, and we got into this three month downtrend before that five month rally. And so you might think, well, then are we gonna do the same thing here? Well, if you sort of observe 2021 the reason why you might think that well you have to understand also context of where we are did when when we saw that three black crows acting as a reversal signal where were we are we already made new all-time highs or were we still in a vulnerable recovery phase we were still in a recovery phase meaning the wound from this bear attack it's still sort of it's, it's healing but you can still feel it it gets a little bit different though once you make new new all-time highs so this is today this is today and this is 2020 2021 and that's after uh it already cleared the covid covid uh march all-time high peak so you got a little two black crows, we gap down on Monday, and then you see the flush, right? What happened was on Monday morning, so this is a weekly chart, so this happened Friday. Monday morning, we gapped up. That's why we see that gap here. And then you see that following week, that's what we call one white soldier candle pattern. The one white soldier is basically the bearish candle it, it doesn't open near the base it opens slightly above where it closed the the, the the red candle base right here and in fear it pierces through the previous week's candles high so that's one white soldier it's very strong reversal signal perfect three black crows here versus three black crows is here different also three black crows here versus three black crows is here is different because i believe there's three black crows here 
this see you see what i'm saying three black crows within a very much raising bull market here is different because again that that was 20 that that was three black crows three black crows here is going to be different than three black crows maybe here within the downtrend so you always have to understand the context the big picture